Hey guys, it is dividend season here on the channel. Today, I'm giving you three top high yield dividend stocks to add to your portfolio or maybe invest a little bit more money in for the month of October. Can't wait to share these companies with you. Let's dive into it. All right, guys, so let's look at those three companies that I've gone through, studied research for you today. All three of these fantastic buys. Let me know which one of these is your favorite down in the comments below. And here's the thing, guys. Dividend stocks are important. Dividend stocks, of course, generate passive income. Reinvesting dividends compounds the income, leads to purchasing more dividend-paying stocks, and just, just to show you how powerful dividend stocks are, look at the historical outperformance of dividend stocks compared to non-dividend payers. Dividend stocks give you a 9.2% annualized return over the last 50 years average. The non-dividend player counterpoints, 4.3% annualized return. That's huge, almost twice the, actually more than twice the percentage rate for dividend players. Dividend growers offer the highest returns, 10.2% annualized for dividend growth stocks, making them a key focus. And that's what I wanna to bring to you today is three high growth dividend stocks that are bringing it all together um, for the best, the best high yield dividend stocks that you can get out there right now. Okay, number one is this, realty income. It's a consistent dividend grower. Attractive dividend yield is a uh, of 5%, significantly higher than the S&P 500 sub 1.5% yield, they've had an impressive history of dividend increases. They raised their dividend 127 times, guys, since 1994. They've had 108 consecutive quarters of dividend growth, 4.3% annualized annual dividend growth rate. That's incredible. And that's contributed to their 13.5% annualized total return. And it's the acquisitions that they're making that are driving their dividend growth. Every $1 billion in acquisitions adds 0.5% to their adjusted FFO per share annually. They have plans to make $3 billion in acquisitions this year, plus $9.3 billion merger with Spirit Realty. This, their vast commercial real estate market provides continued growth opportunities for this REIT. Okay, that's number one, realty income. Number two is Mid-America Apartment Communities or MAA, and they are capitalizing on growing demand. The current dividend yield is above 3.5%, and they've been increasing their dividend for 14 consecutive years, including a 5% increase last year, and they're benefiting from rising rental income that's driven by two things. First of all, strong demand in the Sun Belt region due to population and job growth, and high occupancy rates, steadily rising rents. All right, guys, and they're expanding their apartment portfolio, and that's enhancing their growth potential. They've had a recent acquisition of a developed apartment community in Raleigh, North Carolina, they have seven communities under development, four to six new projects are planned, and this expanding portfolio is increasing their rent-driven income, enabling further dividend increases. Okay, so that's, number one is realty income. Number two, Mid-America Apartment Communities, MAA. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. Appreciate all y'all. All right, last but not least is Vici Properties, V-I-C-I -I Properties, and they've been lever leveraging experiential real estate. Their dividend yield is over 5%. They're consistent, they've had consistent, guys, dividend growth for seven consecutive years. They've had a recent increase in a 4.2% in their dividend, and uh, they've had 7% compound annual dividend growth since 2018. That's huge. And what they're doing is they're focusing on experiential real estate, like gaming, hospitality, entertainment properties. Their growth is driven primarily by new investments, sale, leaseback transactions with operators. They've had a merger with another large gaming REIT, investments in development projects. And their credit investment platform 
is opening up new investment opportunities. Just as an example, they've, they converted a loan into an acquisition of Chelsea Piers. They funded a development at, of a Margaritaville resort with an option to purchase the property. And their expanding portfolio is what has enabled them to continue to grow their dividends. Now guys, all three of these, Realty Income, MAA, Vici Properties, all of them offer high yielding, steadily growing dividends. Each company is well positioned to continue increasing their payouts driven by strong business fundamentals. And so adding to a position in any of these companies in October is going to allow for two things. You're going to be collecting more dividend income and you're going to be positioning your portfolio for above average total returns in the long term. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe because every week I make a video about a specific stock that I'm buying, adding to my portfolio or just adding more to that specific stock. Guys, subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss those videos. And on top of that, I post a video every single day about what I'm seeing in the market. It's great opportunities like these three companies that we talked about today. So if you like this video, guys, leave a like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments down below and let me know which of these three companies was your favorite today. And I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.